heard of Weight Watchers, but how about Watt Watchers, which has to do with the critical issue of winter heating? Deb Brown is here from the Fuel Fund of Maryland to explain that. Nice to see you. Good to see you. So you've come in full of energy and full of tips for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. All right, let's just start and remind people what the Fuel Fund in which the fuel fund is, which is so important in our area. Absolutely. You know, we've been very lucky. We've been around since 1980, and we're there when neighbors of ours are struggling with their heat and home utility bills. That's where we come into play. And so, if somebody needs help from the fuel fund, how do they contact you? And, what, and how do is there a certain need base that you have? It's a great question. What they usually do is they start working with their county community agency or a partnering agency in the city, and then they're referred to us. Once they come to us and we make that financial reward to them, we ask them to take our Watt Watcher class, which you mentioned. Okay. So which, how does that work? And yeah. that's a fantastic class. It's our Watt Watchers program, and then what the client does is they go through two one and a half hour classes, and they. Really learn energy saving tips to take home, and it empowers them to take control of their energy usage. That's wonderful. So now you can empower all of us and tell Absolutely. us what we need to do. And you have some tips for us. Absolutely. Get, I mean, it's starting to get cool. We yep. felt it this morning coming in. Oh, it's chilly. <laughs> what are the things we need to do? Well, I, a couple of them that I like is let's start with our thermostat. Let's set it at 68 degrees. I know that might sound chilly, but if you set it at 68, maybe put on another layer of clothes, have a cup of hot chocolate, or do what I like to do: snuggle up with a loved one or the family pet, I don't think that 68 will be too bad. Yeah. What do you do, though, when everyone in your home says, Mom, it's really cold. <laughs> Mom, it's really cold. I mean, I keep hearing that. I, you know, yeah. I tend to like it on the chilly side myself, but um, what do you do? You just encourage everyone to do those other things. Absolutely. Encourage that, and then it's a behavioral change. Once you start doing that and we change that behavior, it doesn't sound so bad. The other one is we give our Watt Watcher participants a five minute shower timer. I know that sounds like a short amount of time, yeah. but that five minute shower and setting your water heater at 120 degrees Fahrenheit makes a lot of difference. That's excellent. And you also say with your fridge, set that at 36 to 38 degrees? That's correct. And the freezer at zero to ten. Okay. And that will also help. And how does that translate in terms of a difference in your in your bill? Yeah, you'll start seeing that a few dollars, but you know, eventually that adds up over the course of the whole year. We like to say there's a lot of things in our homes that are energy vampires. And that's why it's important to use the energy power strip. You think about leaving your home and you turn off the toaster or the TV, but it's still sucking out power. Get everything plugged in and then turn that switch out and you'll save a few dollars. I love it. I, I if people want some more information, where can they get it? Get it from our website at fuelfundmaryland.org. All right, Deb, thanks so much for Thank coming you. in. Thank you. Full of energy this morning. I love you it. like it. Hopefully, the Ravens will have it too. Yes, I hear you. <laughs>